if you haven't seen solo leveling yet, you're missing out because things are getting good. So on my first impressions video, I was telling you Sun Jin Wu is known as the weakest hunter alive. I mean, this man gets done in by the tutorial monsters. Low level goblins just shank this man up. And this boy has to be healed constantly or this man is always on the verge of death. And the raid party just found out that they are in a double dungeon and they just walk into this room with the creepiest face statue grinning like they just dropped the soap or something. Then they start dropping like flies when they realize the only way making it out of this with they butts attack is having to face every gamer's weakness. Puzzles. So they gotta bow down to this thing just so it will chill the hell out for two seconds. Then they figure out the next puzzle is that they have to sing praises to God. So one dude's like, I know how to get on my knees and pray. Did you pray today? Did you pray today? Well, that didn't work and the crew found out that God had just left the chat and everyone starts losing their ish and starts running around finding out that they need to stand next to the statues with instruments and Jin Woo loses his leg in the process. But luckily for them, the last puzzle is pretty easy. Guys, for the last puzzle, all we have to do is stay in this circle together until the time runs out and we'll get out alive. Guys? Oh, what was that, Jin? We're already outside. Oh, son of a... And Jim Wu praying that he gets another chance of life after getting a JJK jumping. Our boy's prayers get answered as he now becomes a player. And wakes up in the hospital three days later like nothing ever happened. Well, he does have PTSD now. <laughs> PTSD aside, he is introduced to Men in Black, who question him and ask him if he's had a second awakening. Oh, and I know the One Piece fans going crazy right now hearing the word awakening. But in the world of solo leveling, awakening works a little bit different. Because the power system of solo leveling is you get what you get. If you're born strong, you're strong. And if you're born weak, you're Jin Woo. And it just sucks to be you. But in the world, there is a rare occurrence that can happen called a second awakening that could get someone from the rank E all the way up to A to S. So when Jin Woo hears this, that he might finally be strong, he puts his hand on the little meter and finds out that yeah he ain't got it so the men in black did thing and they just got called out and wasted their time on some bullshit but after they leave jim Wu sees a whole gamer screen that he fails to mention to them and starts messing with it as he is a player now and the game screen tells him that he needs to grind and work out to meet his daily quota oh he's gonna face a penalty but just like most gamers when faced with the choice of working out my boy says fuck that i'm going to bed something he regrets instantly as the penalty clock runs out and our boy wakes up in the set of doom running from killer bug and after four hours of running to the desert and surviving by the skin of his teeth, he learns that he is never going through another penalty again. So our boy gets off his lazy butt, starts grinding, look backs it, and maybe even a little bit of joking. So our boy actually goes and applies himself and finds out when he actually does, he gets a reward for completing the quest of the day, where he can put these points into his skill trees, which he only does in the strength, he can get a full recovery, and he even gets the one thing that all gamers know and love, loot boxes. But our boy got the max win and got a dungeon key, which gives him his own private dungeon that he gets to solo all by himself. Hence the name. And he takes full advantage of redeeming himself because he goes full goblin say on a pack of goblins and starts straight up punching wolves when they try to show up. And I ain't gonna lie, punching a wolf is kind of crazy. But then he remembers that he has an inventory, which he has a couple more items in and pulls out a sword and he starts killing the wolf. Then he hits rank two. Nice. This is short lived, however, because the wolves call for backup and Jin Woo starts sicing and dicing them, turning them into puppy chow. And I'm going to tell you now, Peter's about to have a field day on this anime. So after Jin Woo kills about everything in sight, he goes from level 2 to level 15 and realizes it's time to face a dungeon boss, which looks eerily familiar. Copyright infringement aside, I'll tell you now, Jin Woo was not really ready as he thought he was, as he starts getting tossed around by this snake and probably thinking to himself that he regrets every decision he made up to this moment as our boy just got the ability to get stronger and he might have just wasted it but a little self-motivation our boy boosts the animation budget up to 100 and starts going crazy on this boss and does such an out of the box move i didn't see it coming as he starts bear hugging a snake to death he hit this boss with the colossal clutch the stf the anaconda vice pun intended because jim Wu said magic get that out of here perception don't need it muscles to the max which is a perfect segue to our video sponsor muscle milk i'm kidding him, bro i ain't getting sponsored anytime soon <laughs> oh my god please someone sponsor me i'm broken but with all that our boy Jin Wu finally solos his first dungeon and on his walk home sees a party struggling to take on a boss so he decides to just solo that too just to flex now this is why i really wanted to make the video because the anime is finally starting to kick into gear and it's starting to get really good because our boy Jin Wu finally gets the looks that you know him for probably from all the promo art going from twig to chad with a jaw line that could cut through diamonds have even the nurses feeling a little flustered as they even beg for his number all boy Jin Woo is living the nerd dream right now but even though the high of being a dungeon and the girls wanting him reality has to set in for everybody as this boy has a realization that he still got bills to pay him knowing that he has a lack of funds and dead presidents in his pocket he sets up a dungeon raid 
where these guys will be very integral to the next bark just have him as the luggage boy and he does make friends with richie mcrich over here as they set into a dungeon that is full of bugs even though this being a sea wreck dungeon the bugs don't really have much of a threat to them and easily to deal with but something starts to bug our boy jim woo a little bit as he gets a weird suspicion that the bugs might be the least of their problem as they finally make it to the boss room filled with mana crystals it's gonna be worth millions when they split it but jim woo's feeling was right as the party leader decides to leave them for dead in the boss room and mr Moneybags over here is scared shitless and he's like jim woo stand back i'll handle this like boy do you know who you talking to right now so jim woo's like boy step aside let me handle this and jim woo starts going crazy on this boss putting another one under his belt but at first had a lot of difficulty because this thing was hard as diamonds he got to that thing's face and started shanking it repeatedly i mean he shanked it so much it looked like a god of war quick time event and after he was done with the boss the raid party comes back and sees jen woo and the guy still alive and said hey i guess we'll just have to kill you the old-fashioned way then and sneak attacks jim woo and this is when you know they done fucked up you know when a dude just stands back up like this boy something is about to go down because then the assistant tells him hey you need to kill all six of these threats or your heart is gonna stop and jim woo don't feel like dying again today and one of the hunters really come up to jim woo after watching him taking a pk fire to the face and starts talking mess like they really about to kill jim woo just to get his head cut off and have them other dudes straight up flabbergasted because just like the viewers watching this you're coming to realize jim woo is just different he ain't trying Trying to be no hero and our boy has no remorse as he goes and kills five of these six guys in like 0.5 seconds and the party leader is over here shitting bricks as he tries to man up and starts screaming thinking shit is about to really make a difference as this man charges a jim woo and jim woo literally mushes this man into the ground my god look at this man he just standing over him menacingly so this idiot over here realizes that he might really die today then this man had the gall to ask for mercy after trying to kill jim woo three three times and all jim woo says to him is nah that's not happening then goes full demon slay on this man's head and with that our boys decide that hey let's keep this on the low and not speak a word about this to anybody especially when the guy they just killed little brother is a s rank hunter however silver spoon over here sees the opportunity to recruit jim woo to his guild that he's trying to make and jim woo says Nah, I'm good. As he's still trying to grind and take care of his mom who's sick, he learns the opportunity to get the elixir of life that's able to heal all ailments. The only problem being is that he'll have to solo a whole S-rank dungeon by himself. And that doesn't go so good. Yeah! 